welcome to the Quartermain Mansion. But then, Bill, you've been here before, haven't you? Yes. Uh, last time I was here, I got as far as the living room. Oh, well, we'll just have to rectify that, won't we? How about a tour? How much? <laughs> How much what? How much is the admission fee? Yeah. It's a joke. It's just a joke. Oh, doesn't your son have the most fabulous sense of humor? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Jenny. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh how are you? I love your you, hair. Oh, thank you. And your dress is yes. great. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, mother, by the way, everybody loved my bridal party dresses. Oh, I'm so glad. Angela, how about we uh, go say hello to the rest of the family? Uh, sure. <laughs> How about some champagne? Oh, uh, lead the way. Nice. Ladies, some champagne. Hello, oh, welcome. Thank Hello. you very Hello. much. Hello, you. Hi, here, let me Hi, get Bill. your coat. Hey, how's it going? Oh, lots of excitement. No, I mean in Galveston. Well, uh, actually, I've been looking for a supplemental shipment. I can't find one. I guess we'll take a bath on this one, huh? We'll weather it. We can bounce back. What's the deal with you and the Quartermains? Well, I may not be needing that office space I asked you about. Good. Good. That's best for all of us. What happened? Uh, I'm not sure, Bill. There uh, may be a uh, change in plans. Be specific. I uh, can't right now. Look, we'll talk later, all right? Ah, what the hell is all that about? So what are you doing by yourself over here? Counting snobs. <laughs> You're bad. I'm terrible. Attention, everyone. I know that all of the signs uh, point to New York, but, you know, he's, he's a lunatic, so he... Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. I, well, I will talk to her, of course. Okay. And Robert, be careful. Robert Scorpio? Yeah. He hasn't been able to locate his wife yet. Oh, God. How horrible. No, it's just really starting to... I feel like anybody I get close to has something bad happen to them. He thinks that we should be careful, too. See? Who knows how that twisted Danish mind is working. I mean, it may be retribution for destroying the cartel. It might be, I don't know, maybe he's having visions. Maybe God's talking to him. Who knows? Well, what does Robert want us to do? He wants us to be careful. He offered a guard, but I turned him down. Oh, no, I don't want anybody following me around either. And that wasn't even really part of the cartel, more like a guilty bystander. Yeah, I know. Anyway, be careful. Look, I'm more interested in what's happening with the cannery right now than I am about phase on. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about you. This literal, lateral logic. <laughs> right from a shark to a bunch of mackerel. <laughs> Really? What's happening with Galveston? I don't like it, Miss Barrett. Something stinks, and it isn't just that spoiled fish shipment. Something really stinks. Fenton, how long have you been managing canneries? Well, before Galveston, before you were hired on at our cannery in Galveston, how long? Sixteen years! That's a long time, Fenton. That's a real long time. It seems to me you ought to know what to set the thermostat at when you send warm water fish all the way up from the Gulf to New York State. Yeah, well, I can't be there looking over your shoulder all the time. I don't want to be there looking over your shoulder all the time. Yeah? Yeah, well, hey, well if... Do, yeah, okay, call me back. So? Oh, he claims the refrigerator malfunctioned. One of those that could happen to anybody kind of deals. You know, I didn't like this guy the minute I talked to him. I think I should fly down there. All right, there maybe all right, all right. I think we just need to analyze where exactly it is we are. All right. You're right. Time for a long, hard plunge into the books. There. Well, here you go. A Galveston shipment has dropped us 75,000 into the red. Well, it's not good, but we can absorb that. We can't absorb that. With the economy on the brink of collapse, our, our profit margin is slim enough, Miss Barrett. Let's not be pessimistic. I'm not pessimistic. Well, don't get paranoid well, either. I, I am not paranoid. Eckert. Who? Larry Miller. Yeah, put him on. Hello, Mr. Miller. What can I do for you? What? Uh, uh, 
uh, Mr. Miller, you got to slow down now. I can't, I, I can't understand you. Well, yes, I understood what you wanted me to do with the Seattle cannery, but I'm afraid that's anatomically impossible, sir. Uh, uh, w w now wait. Mr. Miller, it... What happened? All right, all right. I'm calm, I'm calm. What? That's Larry Miller of Miller Incorporated. Well, like the largest wholesaler in the whole Northwest. Yeah, I know who he is. What happened to his shipment? He's going to deal with another cannery from now on. He's canceling all orders from us. Wait, you mean now we've just lost a big Seattle company and, uh, along with our tainted fish in Galveston? Something's going on here, Miss Barrett. Oh, no. What is the number of the Seattle cannery? Oh, no. Let's find out what the hell happened to that shipment. Uh, Seattle. 206 -555 Cancellations. You're kidding. Mm -mm. You mean we're only going to hold on to two out of the whole pack of them? We're going to have to be prepared for some big losses. I mean, first the, the tainted fish and now this computer glitch. Miss Barrett, this is not a coincidence. How do you know? I just smell sabotage, and believe me, I should know. You think another cannery is doing this, trying to put us out of business? That or our partners. You know, no, Paul, no, not Paul. ELQ, Ashton. He didn't want us to get involved in the canneries in the first place, if you recall. ELQ has a stake in our making a profit. They have a bigger stake in driving us out of business. They want our ELQ stock. And if they can destroy us, then they can pick up all the canneries and rebuild without us. Do you have any ideas? Well, Edward and Ned are both snakes. So why don't I just send a mongoose down their hole? Gina, try and locate Ned Ashton for me, will you? Call me back. That's right. I want to know everything there is to know about Ned Ashton from the time he was born. I want to know his grades in school. Uh, I want to know what teams he tried out for. I want to know everybody he ever slept with. I want all the gruesome details. Yeah, the uglier, the better, of course. Yesterday, I want it yesterday. Okay. Good. First rule of warfare. Know thine enemy. Correct. Know thine enemy. Well, soon we will know Ned Ashton very thoroughly. Soon we will know Ned Ashton as well as we know that heart-shaped mole on the back of your right thigh. Mm -hmm. I have a little friend at the bank who says that he'll give me a complete financial rundown on Ned Ashton. And here is his ELQ work history. Don't interrupt. We've got to work, 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 work. Would you like to order now, Mr. Eckert? Uh, no, not right now, Fred. I'm waiting for Miss Barrett, but I will have some coffee. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm late. My alarm didn't go off. I hope this is the way the rest of my day goes. Uh, we were about to order without you, weren't we, Fred? Do you want some breakfast? Yes, I do. And you know what? Could you make this orange spice tea for me and bring me some toast, um, lightly buttered? Okay. That's breakfast for her, Fred. Um, I'll have eggs benedict, heavy on the butter, and a couple of side orders of Mm, hash browns. Very good. Pretty heavy breakfast for a guy who's going to be back here in a couple hours for a lunch meeting. What are you, the nutritional police? I'm a growing boy. I can handle it. Yeah, growing exactly which way was that? Speaking of your lunch meeting, do you think you'll be able to handle Edward and Ned Quartermain on By Your Little Lonesome? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means I'd really like to be here for that. There's a lot at stake. Yes, there is a lot at stake, and you know why I'm doing it alone. You were there when I set up the meeting. But if it makes you more comfortable, I'll be happy to go through in excruciating detail exactly why I think I should do this without you and Paul present. Oh, goody. Dude. I'm counting on this divide-and-conquer routine. It's definitely what they've got in mind. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Ned's always schmoozing you up in front of me? 
Why do you think that he's always talking to us and leaving Paul out of the loop and we should get together with Paul and discuss with him? He's probably Ned. I mean, he's probably using Paul against us in some fashion on his side, too. Okay, okay, but I'm not having any problem understanding their strategy. It's your loops that I'm having trouble jumping through. I don't understand why you're going to this meeting alone, making it look like they've succeeded in driving a wedge between us. No, I'm not playing it into their hands, if that's what you think. The reason I'm doing it alone is because I want them to... I want them to know that this, these, these little problems, uh, they haven't stopped us. They're not dominating all of our time and our attention. I want them to know that we have other things on the agenda. Hey, it's Benedict are great. You should really try them. So far, I can't say that I disagree with your thinking. Oh, really? You want to order some? Fred. I mean your business strategy. Don't listen to him. Oh. If... In fact, Edward Quartermain and his grandson are behind these cannery problems, and it might not be a bad idea to let them think that they haven't slowed us down. Exactly. Exactly, and I'm sure that they are behind them. No, but that's a big if. I can't see Edward Quartermain risking his own profits to sabotage our joint venture. That just doesn't make any sense to me. It makes a world of sense when you realize how hot they are to get a hold of our ELQ stock. 36% mm. is a nice big chunk, Miss Barrett. And if you're Edward Quartermain and used to being the captain of the whole Navy, then you and I become a real glitch in his cardiograph. But sabotage? I'd do it. Good point. It's not a bad plan, really. If we keep taking hits like we took in Galveston and in Seattle, sooner or later we're going to need a lot of cash. And they think we're going to raise it by putting up our ELQ stock and they can have it. Exactly. Hmm. Funny how things go around, isn't it? It wasn't that long ago that they owned this cannery and they were losing a lot of money. Mm -hmm, until my father snatched it up and we turned it around. And then Ned frothed at the mouth when uh, Paul bought all those other canneries without board approval. But as soon as we moved to take them over with Paul... That's right. That's right. Then they wanted 51% of our venture. Exactly. I mean, I love these people. They're so greedy. <laughs> they, they won't walk away from the chance of making even the slightest profit. Can't hold that against them. No, you can't. And Ned's hungry. He wants to show his bone to the old man. He wants to show him his stuff. I understand Maybe that. Maybe Grandpa Quartermain doesn't even know about this. No, no, no. Don't kid yourself. Edward Quartermain knows every move Ned makes. If that's true, they're a good, scary combination. Yeah. And I know that if we don't stop them now, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Two hours special work day at 11 a.m. Hey, business meeting. I've been up since 6.30. Ah, 6.30. You said your alarm didn't go off. Did I say 6.30? I meant 8. <laughs> so tell me, is there any word on Anna? Actually, that's why I'm here. So you haven't found her yet? No, I'm afraid the news isn't that good. In fact, it's not too good at all. It seems that Faison is behind Anna's disappearance. Mm -hmm. That's what Robert said. Yeah, yeah. Look, I can't go into too many details. I just want to drop by and warn you, too, what you might be up against. I don't see what this has to do with us. It seems that uh, the kidnapping of Anna is only part of Faison's plan. You mean he didn't get enough from this town on the last time around? No, he didn't. He's come to this town twice. He's lost twice. Now he wants revenge. Well, now, Sean, are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? I mean, I know it's Faison, but who can fathom the mind of a twisted <clears throat> Bill, Bill. Don't underestimate this guy. He's taken Anna. Now he's uh, leading Robert around by his nose, taunting him with false leads. Well, so what would he want with us? Uh, you mean just because of the cartel? He uh huh. Would, uh... You were one of the reasons we were able to bring them down. Yeah, I was, but she had nothing to do with it, so why? She's important to you, as Anna is important to Robert. I can take care of myself, Sean. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what Anna thought, too, Julia. And she's a... Well, she's a trained agent. You're not. You're even more at risk. And Bill betrayed the cartel by not killing Robert. He... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get into that. That's all right, Sean. I know you didn't. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Was done, wasn't it?